Yeah, let's do that. Part two. Mm -hmm. How can we achieve liberation? Is it like in Auschwitz concentration camp where there's somehow a benefit to be gained from knowing that the gas chambers are not showers? Oh, I've used my discernment and I've used my research and I've come to the conclusion that the showers are actually gas chambers. Oh my, how lovely. Is that going to make any difference to your faith? Of course nope. not. Nope. So why are we told that somehow we have to raise our vibration and somehow raise our knowledge of the fact that we're chickens in the chicken coop under the uh, control of uh, some uh, cabal or Illuminati or dark nobility? How in earth is that going to change our fate? The answer is no, not not, not by much. <laughs> well, you know, it might be the difference between getting executed wearing a blindfold and getting executed without one and looking your executioners in the eye. And that's the only difference I can see. Right. But it, the result, unfortunately, is the same. You're yes. dead. That's right. Well, I guess, uh, you know, waking up is definitely the first step, but by no means uh, significant. Really, we have to start planning something and put them into action. And it's not only and that. We to need... gain momentum, to, to, yes. to, to, to gain more weight, to gain more momentum so that we can go after as a form of counteraction. Because without that, uh -huh. we, you know, we will still be oppressed no matter what. Well, let's look at some historical examples to see if it's possible to rebel against a, uh, a slave system. A Spartacus comes to mind. Sure. Uh, he started out as a slave, became a gladiator. That's right. Was uh, pardoned uh, because of his ex exploits in the Colosseum. Sure. And uh, became so famous that he was able to lead a slave rebellion uh, yeah. that uh, grew and grew until it reached about 120,000 uh, slaves who formed an army uh, yeah. against the uh, Empire of Rome. That's right. They uh, they were able to basically lay waste to most of the Roman Peninsula uh, until such time as the legions that were overseas or elsewhere in the Mediterranean were able to come back and and uh, take over Rome. Because remember, there was a uh, a law that were that Roman legions were not allowed to actually be in Rome. Uh, Roman Peninsula or the Italian Peninsula pop, uh, proper. Uh, that's right. the cross the Rubicon law. Uh, uh, legions not allowed to cross the Rubicon. So the only that's thing right. that we could could control the uh, the rebelled slaves was the uh, the Republican or the not, no, the Praetorian Guard, uh, right. uh, which was numbered only about fifty thousand. So that's why sure. uh, Spartacus's revolution succeeded right. until such time as the legions could be recalled to deal with it. And then they crossed the Rubicon River, which is the border between Italy proper and the rest of the Roman Empire. And then they put sure. down that rebellion in short order. Right. And and uh, Spartacus and his men were pushed back into the south, the, the, the heel and the toe of Italy. And they uh, made, tried to make a deal with some pirates to, uh, you know, uh, ex, 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 extract them by sea. Uh, right. And they, they gave these pirates, I believe they were Persians, all the gold that they had looted from the uh, Roman estates along the way right. in their in their liberation march, and of course the pirates, seeing that these people were about to be exterminated by uh, overwhelming military forces, just took the gold and left, leaving uh, right. leaving uh, Spartacus's army to be slaughtered, and the leaders, of course, were all lined up uh, on um, crucifixes on the major highway, which is called the Appian Way which yeah. led from the south of, of Italy uh, up to Rome. Uh, right. And I believe into the north as well. And uh, something like 10,000 bodies were lying there rotting in the sun for months. Yeah. So that's what happens when you wake up and don't have right. the power to defeat your enemy. It's not about yeah. knowledge. It's about power. Yes. So what power do we have? Well, we have the power to 
cooperate or not. We can have a general strike tomorrow. We can lay down our tools and refuse to participate in an economy. But that economy benefits certainly the elite, but it also benefits us. So that's like saying, right. that's like saying, let's turn off the water supply in, 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 in uh, Poland. And therefore, the, you know, our prison guards will die of thirst. But uh, unfortunately, the water supply also is what we need. So we're going to die of thirst too. So that doesn't quite work, right. does it? Yep. So what else are you going to do? Protest in the streets? Oh, you're a violent protester. You'll be shot and put in jail. Says who? Says the people with the guns, which you don't have. See, of see remember, it's not about opinion about ideas about waking up a skill testing question who was it that said political power comes from the barrel of a gun mm. no Mao Zedong right and that's true today and always will be true and it always has sure. been true in the past and yeah. look around you what's happening in France right now well, the protests are still ongoing, but there's also a lot of uh, illegal migrant thugs mm -hmm. yeah. terrorizing the ordinary people. And also there are a lot of mysterious uh, churches being set on fire, mm -hmm. kind of like our uh, forest fires from coast to coast within Canada. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of mysterious things happening here and there. Is that For the example, People's Revolution? Are the people yeah. of France rising up, or is it just a bunch of, of, of infiltrators who are designed to rise up in order to give the, the government an excuse to claim it's a revolution and then clamp down even harder? Hmm. I wouldn't know for sure. See, we live in a sophisticated century. Things are a little right. different than back in the Roman time. Sure. So now we have false flags. Now we have uh, yeah, now we have fifth columnists. We have people in our, right. in our universities, in our governments, in, in our in our school boards, uh, uh, you know, in our police forces, even who who are who are working for an uh, an, an agenda. They're 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 dancing to the tune of a different drummer. Sure. And and that is what we're up against. It's not so simple anymore. And, and, and for the for the common people to really rise up is so difficult because we don't even know who we're rising up against and we don't even know who we're rising up with. Look at the recent That's example right. of uh, what they call the uh, the sixth uh, uh, protests in, in the United States where uh, I think half the crowd that stormed the Congress were FBI agents. That's right. <laughs> January 6th. So just be careful who you riot with. That's right. <laughs> And that's what we've that's what we've come to, we've 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 come to the point where, though though that chicken coop is is just so nebulous and ill defined that we don't even know whether we're free range or not, <laughs> and 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 we're we're unable to even form the question to ask of whether we're free. And and that and that that's what they want. They want you to be unable to see the difference between freedom and slavery, between dignity and control, between sovereignty and 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 their ability to make you uh, uh, a product of their of their of their system, uh, a, a product in in every way, including child trafficking. Right sure. now, we have a, a, a very brave and noble attempt by certain individuals to send out a message to the world in this in this film, um, Cry Freedom, which is right. uh, revealing the true agenda of our governments. The true Sorry. agenda of our governments is to take our eggs. Okay? And I'm yeah. not going to go into detail because it's too horrible for me to describe. But that has always been the true agenda of, of our of our of our world the world we live in and until people wake up to that they yeah. will be unable to even understand their who their true enemy is 
They think that their government is just something to be rebelled against and it could be changed the next day to another government. Or maybe you could vote it out in an election and then have another election in a new government. No, that, that's not your enemy at all. Those are just uh, people that are placed before you to be selected as your overseers. It's like the changing of the guard Correct. at the prison camp. Stop. Stop. 